Yo, what's happening, guys? Listen, today I want to talk about something that's, I think, the most important part of trying to lose weight, trying to lose fat, gain muscle, be the best optimal version that you can be. Um, and that's something that a lot of people don't give a lot of thought to. You know, we have this mechanistic view of the body as, as as far as the personal training industry is concerned or their wellness industry or self-improvement industry is concerned that you know if we just eat good food then our life will be better because we'll lose weight look great and feel great but a lot of times it just doesn't happen right sometimes it does but a lot of times it doesn't so why is that why do some people who eat a great fantastic diet or even maybe not even a good diet say like they, they follow it 50% of the time, and 50% of the time, they just screw off and they eat shit, pizza, and, and, and crap all day long, or 50% of the time. And then other people who eat 80% of the time, they eat great, and 20% of the time, they cheat. But the other group gets better results, physically, and emotionally, and etc. Why is that? What's, what's, the, uh, what's the catalyst there? What's preventing the other group? the 80 percenters from achieving the same results as the 50 percenters and I, I'm here to tell you that it's this it's your mind right because if you're not in control of your mind if you're not in control of your thoughts then it doesn't matter what you put in your body right because putting food into your body is information when your body breaks that food down it turns it into information for, for your body to utilize for your cells to utilize but when you're thinking, whether it's positive or negative, then you're also feeding your body information. You're feeding your mind information. So there's, there's various ways to input into your body. And if you're constantly meditating on negativity, negative thoughts all day long, which 90% of people do, at least in the United States, then you're going to impact your health in a way that you're most people won't realize you know if you're negatively thinking all day long um, you're going to attract more negativity in your life if for instance say you get into a fight with a friend or a loved one and you know you're in, it's the beginning of your day and you just you're in a shitty mood right and then you go out and say you're going to do chores and random stuff or maybe you go to work right and you feel like crap and now all of a sudden you come across somebody who also feels like crap and all day long you just seem to run into people that feel like shit and crap all day well that's not a coincidence right there's no such thing as coincidence so my point is is that you have to feed your mind just as much quality as you feed your body um, and how do we do that well number one is to meditate right if we meditate and we set aside 20 to 30 minutes per day every day consistently to just meditate and and everybody's meditation is different right some people may have a walking meditation some people may have a, a moving meditation uh, like uh, Tai Chi some people may have a sitting meditation like myself so it depends on your style and, and, and what uh, clicks with you the best um, personally I, I do a sitting meditation and all I do is just, I just watch my breath and I just make believe I'm a spectator and I and I and I just watch my breath and every time a, a random thought comes in I just take it back to my breath I don't ignore the thought you know you could say a mantra when a thought comes in like for instance a good mantra that I use often is I am right so say I'm meditating and I'm, and I'm watching my breath and I get a thought comes in that I have to go walk my dog well I want to acknowledge the presence of that thought I don't want to ignore it like a lot of people do during the day including myself see the problem is during the day or when we're not conscious our subconscious comes up with all these like random thoughts oh I gotta do this I gotta pay this bill I gotta walk my dog I do this chore and I don't forget about that and before you know it you're literally having like this storm of thoughts in your mind that you're not even consciously aware of most of the time and it's it's not that's not necessarily bad at all 
but when we don't acknowledge those thoughts consciously, it's to our detriment because now we're building up this like storm of of uh, thoughts and emotions and, and it just kind of brews and festers in our minds and it, it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and now we can't concentrate consciously on tasks that we need to perform like work, school, test taking, job, you know, and w w working out. Um, that's one of the reasons why working out is so great or at least doing exercises that require your complete focus because you can't um, work out and, uh, and and think about your your life problems, right? Your heart rate's super high. You're just focused on breathing. You're just focused on surviving. You're just focused on just being in that moment. And when we're going about our day, many of us just seem to be out of the moment, just either being overly anxious, thinking about the future, what you have to do tomorrow, next week, next month, next, next year, or thinking about the past. Oh, I should have done it this way. Should have done it that way. No, we need to be here. We need to be right now. And the, and the best way to get there is to meditate. So I encourage you to meditate. Increase your, your vibration. Increase your thoughts. And make sure that you're feeding your mind and, and your body. Because your mind is not just up here. Your mind is your entire body. You think with this, right? But you feel with this, right? So everything is connected. You can't just segment um, different parts of the body and say that, uh, you know, your mind's just in, in your brain. No, your mind is, is everywhere. Your whole body is aware, right? So if you feed your whole body with positive thoughts and positive vibration and, and you just keep it very uh, calm and relaxed and you meditate every day, it's really going to have a dramatic impact on your health hormonally, spiritually, emotionally, everything. It will change your life and people will notice this. Okay, it's going to improve your sleep. It's going to improve, like I said, your hormones, your DHEA will go up, your testosterone, your anabolic hormones will go up, your stress hormones will come down, and you'll also be more resistant to stress. Um, so if something happens during the day, or at, or at night, it doesn't necessarily have to be during the day, you're more resistant to it, right? Say someone cuts you off, normally you flip a lid or flip the finger, but now that you you know you have meditative thoughts and you're always meditating and you know how to control yourself it doesn't bother you as much and that's very important especially in this day and age so I encourage you guys a hundred percent to eat the best diet possible but also realize that your thoughts and your environment and your lifestyle and the people you surround yourself with right the things that are around you are a million times more important than what than the food that, that comes into your body. The food is very important. It's, it's 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 huge. But if you ignore everything else, then you're only gonna get so far. And that's the difference between those people who get the results and don't get the results. Guys, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and share this with your friends or family if you thought it was helpful. And I'll see you guys soon.